Hey families, so my name is Michelle. I am a math specialist. I have a bachelor's in math and special education, a master's in curriculum and technology, and I'm finishing my doctorate this year in leadership and technology. So I know a lot about tech and a lot about math and a lot about how to scaffold to help students with my SPED background. There is an amazing resource available online. It's free. It's called prodigygame.com. I'm going to walk you through it in a second. Basically, it takes students grades one through grades eight. There's teacher picks the curriculum. It aligns specifically with either Common Core, Texas, Florida, Ontario, or Prodigy's own system. Pretty much it's a gameplay back and forth with questions intermittent. There's a placement test. It's fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through what you would do is if your teacher, your child's teacher already created an account, and you're going to have your child create their avatar and link to it. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to minimize my picture and let's go up here. So it's prodigygame.com. For me, it'll come right up because I'm on the site all the time. All right, your students would play, or technically if you're a family doing this, they'll hit play prodigy um, if they're kid a ruse. So the next thing that comes up is it's going to want you to log in. You can add it to the Chrome browser. This is pretty much the landscape. Now what's really fascinating about Prodigy is they have different, um, I'm sorry, let's take this out, we don't need this. This is my master teacher account. Uh, they have different servers. So for example, what can happen is, let's say your, friend, your child wants to play with their friends, they can all go to the same server and see the same world, earn similar points as they would on any other server, but at least they can battle each other and it's pretty darn exciting. I'm going to click New Student, which is what you would do if you're creating it for the first time. This is the screen that's going to come out. If you're playing at home, they would click here. Um, if your teacher set up a code, we would go to the class code. My class code that I would be entering for this one is this. It'll be different for every teacher. Every time your teacher creates an account, it'll be different. Um, so we have that. So this hand over here is the amazing hand. It tells us what to do. It'll help your kids feel really solid on the information because it's kind of daunting all these different worlds and quests. So the hand kind of directs the students and children where to go. So we're gonna hit this button because the hand tells us. You can, the reason why you need a first and last name is so the teacher knows who the child is, okay? So um, I'm gonna put mine in and I'm just gonna do my last initial and then you're gonna do a, a password and now everyone knows my passwords so I'm gonna to have to change it and I'm gonna start off with first grade but your child would pick their appropriate grade um, you can pick either gender I'm gonna do female you can do um, blue eyes let's see and then Now this is really cool because it's live and kids can play each other literally around the globe. What ends up happening is they don't want to reveal real names. So like Michelle is chosen, but I could be someone else. I could be Megan. Um, so it's truly up to you and your child what you want. Um, let's see, Michelle, Ocean, ooh, Ocean Maker. I don't want to be Ocean Lemon, but you get the idea. Oftentimes I find my students spend a long time doing this. Let me just write this down so I have it and I'm gonna change it in a second. Okay. So now it even walks them through. Now this only happens the first time when they create the account. It's not gonna prompt them every other time. I'm gonna close that. So now here we have Michelle Ocean Leader. Again, we follow the hand. Now as I referenced before, you're gonna be able to do um, different worlds. And basically the worlds are different servers. So for example, if all of my friends are hanging out in, a lot of my students, we go into Dino Dig. Um, so I might say, hey, let's connect on Dino Dig. So now this map is the same map everywhere, but my friends will be in Dino Dig. So it's going to kind of walk through what's going on. So the, the essence of the premise of the story 
is that there's six different wizards. Uh, the wizards have this big castle, and we're going to go on an adventure and different quests, and we'll do math problems in order to get there. So I'm just going to kind of move us through. But it's really um, a beautiful experience for the kids to go through and see why they're doing it. Now, again, you always want to follow the hand. So this is where we left off, and I'm going to stop here because the purpose of this video was just to log in. So as a reminder, go to prodigygame.com. You're going to use the classroom code for your that your teacher gave you. You'll type in your login information that you want it to be. The only time the name actually ever appears is on the teacher site to track it, and also you'll get emails um, if you set up the emails, which will be another video. It's definitely well worth it. Check out my other videos that take you through the process, show you some first grade questions, and move through. So if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.